everyone. Today we're going to show you how to extend the Infragistics gauge control. You'll see this in action in our SB Viz app where we're using out of the box features of the gauge. In this video, you'll learn how to take advantage of that and create a simple dartboard as an example. So let's get started. It may not be obvious at first, but this is a gauge that you're looking at. We're taking advantage of a feature called ranges within the gauge that allow you to create slices that you can position anywhere around the arc. To begin, we're going to create a new Xcode application. For this example, we'll call it Dartboard. We'll save it to our desktop, and then we'll add a reference to our IG chart framer, which you should have as long as you installed our iOS controls already. You can find that by searching for chart in the framework section, and you're good to go. Let's add an instance of our gauge to our view controller. And we'll run the project now. As you may have noticed, the scale of the gauge starts from 0 to 180. We're going to want a full circle for our dartboard, so we'll set that to 270 to 630. Now, the gauge has a lot of parts to it. We're not going to want any of them to actually be displayed in this sample. Instead, we're going to be using ranges to display all of our visualizations. We're going to create an empty gauge theme, and in that theme, we'll set all of our brushes to nil. Let's do that now. And then run it to see what the gauge looks like. So when we run it, all we can see here are the tick marks. Let's set those to nil, and we won't have anything rendered the next time we run it. Now that we've done all this setup work, let's actually create a range. I have a helper method that I've created here, which will get us started. The helper method takes a few values. The first is the start value, then how long that value will be. The extent determines where it begins and ends from the center to the outside, and then the color indicates what color we want to display it. Since start and length will determine where it begins and ends, let's make ours 25 by default and then we'll have it scaled to full extent. Now let's run it and take a look. As you can see, we have an orange slice that takes up a quarter of the gauge. Now that we know how to create our range, we can use that to create our dartboard. We know that we'll only need 20 slices, so let's create a loop. The first two ranges that we'll create are the black and white areas of our dartboard. These next two ranges are specifically for the green and red areas. Finally, we need two more ranges that we'll use as the bullseye of the dartboard. So once we have that, let's run our app. And there it is, our dartboard. So there you have it. In just a few easy steps, we showed you how to extend the Infragistics gauge control, similar to how we created SBViz. If you want to see more of what SBViz can do, you can get it for free in the App Store. And to see for yourself what Infragistics tools can do, download your free trial of Ultimate at infragistics.com. And let's get coding.